Hey everybody, I'm going to share with you the simplest and easiest way I know to take content from a website and provide it to AI to get better results. You can take some URLs that you want to take content from, just give it to the AI and ask it to crawl and then give you the results. But if you convert it to Markdown, which is basically a simpler version of the content, AI can actually save time and more importantly, understand the content much, much better. Let me give you an example. I'm going to share my screen. Let's say that I want to build an Appify app. I just want to take the developer documentation, provide it to AI and make sure it follows exactly the rules of the documentation. I can go and just take this URL and go to Grok, ChatGPT, Claude, etc., and just give it the URL and tell it to read this and follow my instructions. But if you convert the content you want to Markdown, you can get better results, save time, and have less mistakes. For example, all I want to do is just grab the content in the middle. I do not want all the headers and the footers and the sidebars and all these help links. I just want the content in the middle. So what I can do is I can convert it to simple text that the AI can understand and also save on context window. How do I do this? I use a tool called gina.ai to provide URLs that I want. Then I can save it in Markdown, which is what you saw right here. And then I can just provide it to the AI. For example, I can take this content right here, I can save it, and then I can go to Grok or ChatGPT, and I can specify the request and upload the files of the markdown, and I can get much, much better results. Let's say that I want to take the entire documentation, which I have a lot of links right here. I'll take all of the URLs, all of the links, I'll go to my Google Sheets, for example, and I'll specify all of the URLs. In this case, I want to take, for example, three URLs. I want to convert it to Markdown and just export this CSV or this Excel sheet and then provide it to my AI. What I did is once I have all my URLs in my Excel sheet, I'm going to make.com, which is basically an automation platform. And I let it read all of the URLs in my Excel sheet and they go one by one through Gina.ai, convert it to Markdown and put it back in the sheet. For example, let me show you and I'll run it right here. If you want to use this flow, just contact me in the comments and specify you want the flow and I will give you the blueprint so you can just import it and then use it yourself. No problem. What it's doing is it's searching through all of the rows in the spreadsheet and it's going to Gina.ai, getting the Markdown and then saving it in Google Sheets. It's very simple. If I go back to my Google Sheets, URL number one, I got all of the content of the website, excluding the headers and footers and sidebars. And it'll just go row by row and it'll give all the information. Now I can just go ahead, click on file, download CSV and go back to my AI, for example, Grok, and I can specify my request and just upload the content of the CSV that I just exported. It's very, very easy. Again, the most important thing you can do for AI is give it better instructions, better context about what you want and the result that you want to get. The more information you give it, the better results you will get. More thing just to show you how Gina.ai works. All you have to do is take the URL r.gina.ai slash the URL you want to crawl and it will convert it to Markdown with you and remove all the headers and footers and all that kind of stuff. If you have any questions about this video, about AI, about automation, you want the make.com blueprint, you're not sure how to use any of these things, or you have some complex idea or problem, let us know in the comments and we'll be happy to help with any questions you have.